Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Faye from Blue Tree Education. Now I'm going to show you how to solve this question. It's 2022 PSLE paper. It's the last question, question 17, and the concept is on quantity and times value. The question here is written based on the student's recount. So it is close to the story, but there could be some slight difference compared to the actual question. Are you ready? Let's have a look. Mrs. Lee baked a total of 40 large small cakes in the ratio of 5 is to 3. She decorated each cake with some cherries in the ratio of 3 is to 2. She used a total of 204 cherries to decorate all of the small cakes and 7 large cakes. How many small cakes did Mrs. Lee bake? So let's look for um, the information to be put into the tetato table. I'm going to write the header large and small accordingly and quantity, value and total to be on the left hand side. So this is the information given in the story. It's in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Take note of this statement. It is a little tricky over here. It says a total of 40 large and small cakes. So with that, you will connect the information that this 8 units is equal to 40 cakes. One unit is equal to five cakes. And to look for the number of small cakes, that would be three units. And that is why we take this three, all right, multiply by the five cakes, five times three, that will give you 15 small cakes. And that's the answer for part A. So the question for part B, what is the number of cherries used to decorate all the small cakes? Let's take a look at the information given. All right, we have already found out that there are 25 large cakes and there are 15 small cakes. It is also given that the cherries that's going to be on the cakes, it will be in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Now, 3 units is referring to um, a proportion of like every uh, three cherries that goes into the large on the large cake, then there will be two little cherries that goes into the small cake. However, three is to two is just ratio placed in the lowest term. The actual number could be any number in this proportion, example six is to four or nine is to six or even thirty is to twenty. Alright? And so to find the total number of uh, cherries that will be placed on 25 large cakes, we'll take quantity times value, which is uh, 25 uh, number of cakes multiplied by the three cherries that goes on it. So that will be 75 units of cherries. And as for the small one, it'll be 15 small cakes multiplied by two units of cherries that gives you 30 units of cherries. It is given in the story that it says 204 cherries was used to decorate all of the small cakes and seven large cakes. Be very careful of the part two, seven large cakes, not all of the large cakes, all right? So let's uh, have a look at how many cherries there are. So 15 times two units, okay, that will be the 30 cherries that we found, uh, 30 units of cherries that we found earlier. But however, when we are working on the seven large cakes, I realize I can't use this number anymore. So I'll need to work it out again, which takes seven large cakes multiplied by three units of cherries. And this will work out to be 51 units of cherries. And we take 204 divided by 51. That tells us every one unit represents four cherries. So what is the number of cherries used to decorate all the small cakes? Take note of the keyword, small cakes. So it will mean that the cherries on each small cake would be 2 units times the 4 cherries. That makes 8 cherries. Total number of cherries will be 15 cakes times 8. That gives us the answer 120. For part C, how many more cherries does Mrs. Lee need to decorate the remaining large cakes? So the key word here is that uh, it's the remaining large cakes that we're looking at. Uh, however, before that, let's go and find out how many cherries are there on each large cakes. So as we know that uh, one unit is four from uh, the previous part. So therefore, go back to the table. You can see on the large cake, there are three units of cherries. So three times four, we know there are 12 cherries here on each cake or large cake. 
and the next part would be this seven large cakes that was already decorated earlier so we're going to use 25 all right from the table over here that's why the tit toe table is so useful you could put a, like a lot of information in there and you quickly draw reference to the table rather than keep reading the math problem with um, limited information given so back to the solution again 25 minus 7 equals to 18 large cakes left which means that the total number of cherries needed to decorate the remaining cakes would be 18 times 12 cherries that gives us the answer 216 hope you got this um, correct and uh, learned this concept it is uh, very important 